Hey guys, it's Jesse here, and it's mod time once again. Um, I have a few mods to show you guys today. The first one I'll be showing is the Dance of Death. Um, this one's available on the Steam Workshop and the Nexus. Always get your mods from the Nexus though. And what it does is basically adds new kill moves and you can set the settings for when kill moves happen and what kind of kill moves you want and all that jazz. So you'll find a book right here called The Dance of Death and it's a spell tome that gives you the ability to set the settings for the <clears throat> uh, kill moves. So if I bring it up here Dance of Death settings, it's a power so use whatever button you have for shouting and here I can set the chance of kill moves the decapitation chance uh, this basically lets you do every kill move without needing the required level and whatever um, skill so like if your one-handed skill is the lowest it can be you can still do the cool decapitation and kill move like kill cams um, force kill cams you can force it to either be only first person no first person or the regular random chance between the two and this one player only kill moves sets it to where only you can do kill moves and NPCs can't do kill moves so I have mine at 30 I believe but just to show it off we'll put it at 100 there's a hair on me get that off Okay. so in theory if I go up to this guard God, my God. Ah! It didn't work. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, you know why? Okay, hold on. I've got to do the perk restriction, I believe. I think. Am I doing it right? <laughs> there we go. As you can see, that kill move is not in the regular Skyrim. Let's try another. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it may not be perfect, but it uh basically adds new kill moves. So that's pretty cool. On to the next mod. All right. So the other mod are just some weapon mods. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you guys remember from my first Skyrim video, I showed off my Lord of the Rings stuff, but. I'll show it off again, but me being a Final Fantasy fan, I couldn't help but mod in some Final Fantasy weapons. So here are some Lord of the Rings weapons. Here's the Buster Sword, a one-handed Buster Sword, um, Glamdrig, uh, Masamune, um, Sephiroth's weapon, Marble Blade, and I'm I know this from Final Fantasy, but I don't know who uses it. <laughs> I Pretty sure it's Sephiroth. Who knows? But it's here. Um, they require a lot of gold. Like, let's go up to the Buster Sword. 20 steel ingots and 4 gold. That's a lot of nuts. But yeah, I also have my Lord of the Rings weapons. Of course, Final Fantasy weapons don't fit in with Skyrim, but they're cool. And uh, the Lord of the Rings ones do, though. But yeah, that's just another mod I put in. Okay, so this no final offense. mod is so a work in progress, but it's really cool. It adds two new followers to Skyrim, <clears throat> and they can be or the first one can be found at the B and Barb in Riften. And pretty much, you go in here and you talk to this uh, lady, and she gives you a quest, and you complete the quest, and you can get the f two new followers. The reason why this is a work in progress is, well, there's no voice acting, so you're going to have to turn on subtitles, and give it a sec. For some reason, my, uh, my BM Barb takes a while to load up the people, I'm not sure why. 
Back in a second. Sorry about that. Uh, it seems she only appears during some times of the day. Um, I appeared here at like 6 a.m. Anyways, here she is. Uh, Lum Lumina? I have no idea. But as you can tell, she also has different hair than regular Skyrim hair. And this is because you need the Apache hair mod, which just adds new hair for both men and women. Um, or else she'll appear bald. But um, yeah, you talk to her. And, uh, subtitles come up and you have to read them really quickly, apparently. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you accept the quest from her, time. you do her quest, and you get both the followers. So, that's really cool that people are putting in quests and new followers and stuff. But again, it's a work in progress because he needs to add voice acting and slow down the text so I can fucking read it. <laughs> so anyways, that's all the mods I have to show you guys for today. They're really cool and I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.